kingdom. Where you are serving him in the kingdom is twofold. Number one, soul winning. Number two, soul establishment and divorce. Soul winning is like giving birth to a baby. Soul establishment and devil is like rearing the child up. Soul winning, you gave birth. You want the soul through prayer. Now the soul is now in church. And you have endeavor. You have the, the, and you have the responsibility to disciple that soul. Till he or she become an adult, mature Christian, abiding Christian. Not the one that can be tossed around with the wings of doctrine. Glory to God. I said glory to God. It will involve your tireless investment of time. It will involve your tireless investment of time. Your time needs to be invested in this uh, 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 soul establishment and then it will involve your energy. It will involve your resources. Your time investment, your energy investment and your resources. Sometimes it will cost you. Just like your natural children cost you. Buy milk to feed. The father can't say I don't have money for milk. No. Just as you are rearing the child up, a time will come kindergarten, primary school, secondary school. In the spirit, that is exactly the same way. It will demand your time investment. It will take your energy. You need to talk to him. You need to see him. You need to give him encouragement. Little, little thing. Then it will also involve your resources, your means. Some of our new converts are in Bible school. We are responsible for their school fees. Some of them were in the youth Easter rally. We pay for them. It will take your little, little resource. Pass now. This year is not, this is our soul. This is the soul God has brought to church through me. You heard God's servant said, it is not now. Hear what he says. You are not a servant of God because you are a pastor. True of us. You are not a servant of God because you are a pastor. You are not a servant of God because you are a resident pastor. Forget that. Jesus said, I have chosen you and ordained you for this purpose. That you should go and win the soul. It is all over in the scriptures. Job 36 verse 11. If ye obey me and serve me. Condition. If ye obey and serve him, they shall spend their days where? Is it in poverty? And their years where? David said in Psalm 37, 37 verse 25. He said, I've been old. I mean, I've been young now. I'm old. I've never seen the righteous man forsaken. No, he see the begging bread. No, he see the begging bread. Glory to God. I said, Glory to God. So winning is a big time kingdom business. Serving God pays the most. Tonight, let me say this. So winning is a big time kingdom business which is worthy of any level of investment. Jesus said in Luke chapter 2 verse 49. Don't you know I have to be about this business of my father? This one business of so winning, I have to start early. Luke 2 49. I have to start early. Why are you seeking for me? This is why I'm here. So winning is a big time kingdom investment. It will demand your time. It will demand you being focused. Like God told Joshua, Joshua chapter 1 verse 7. He said, only turn now thou to the right and to the left. It is a business that would demand your time. He said, turn not from it 
to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper in this business, whatsoever thou goest in living faith of Rumolumeni, in Iwafe, in anywhere you go, Rumolumeni community, don't turn to left or to right. This is one business for you and me throughout this year 2018. To see what no man has ever seen before. To scale greater height. Glory to Jesus. To stay greater height. Hallelujah. John chapter 4, verse 35 to 36. Jesus says, Say ye not, there are yet four months, and then come and harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, it is this year. And look on the feet, for they are white already to harvest. Hmm. And he that reaper receive wages, he that reaper, he that reaper receive wages, and gather fruit in, unto eternal life, that both he that soweth and he that reaper may rejoice together. This is God's wisdom. Listen to this. God's wisdom is superior. God's wisdom is what? If you make use of common sense, the best result you get in life is common result. It tells you, why are we doing this? What do you want there? We want Jesus there. We want Jesus to take over the life of everybody. If you make use of common sense, only the best result in life is common result. Why? Like beget like. Goat beget goat. Lion beget lion. Man beget man. It takes superior sense to get superior result. God's wisdom is superior. It is original, sir. God's wisdom is not expressed in mighty words. It is expressed in mighty works. Mighty deeds. Mark chapter 6 verse 2. They say, oh, whence has this man, this wisdom, that provoke mighty works? The wisdom of God is a provoker of mighty works, not mighty words. See, let me, let me say this. It is not the heaviness of your speech that demonstrates wisdom of God. No. It is not the heaviness. It is not the shouting. It is even not the expression that demonstrates the wisdom of God, but the heaviness of the proof you command. It is the heaviness of the proof you command. Somebody just stepped here. The following day became a soul winner. Another person stepped here. He said he has not been using his hand. And nobody prayed for him. He began to cry, began to use the hand. Tonight shall be your own night of testimony. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. So there must be a yearning inside your heart for God's wisdom. Yearning for his way. When you get, when you, are, when you are frequency for God's wisdom, it will turn your entire life around without struggle or sweat. This wisdom is superior to intellectual wisdom, sir. Glory to God. Number two, a business is any venture one engages in for the purpose of profiting. Now, as people do business, why do you engage in business? It's for the purpose of profiting. Making profit. A business is any venture one engages in for the purpose of profiting. Even those who are, those who are sweeping road are lending the money. Do you know that you see them? You know why they do it? For profit's sake, they will pay them. Am I saying something? They will pay them. Glory to God. I said glory to God. God has not asked you to seek in vain. God is not using you. God is looking for a way to bless you. God is looking for opportunity to bless you and me. God is not a user of man. Isaiah 45 Verse 19, I said not to the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Huh? You are not seeking God in vain. You are not winning soul in vain. You are going out this year cannot be vain. God is a rewarder. He rewards very quickly. 
Glory to God. The be- you see, it will demand the best of your time. Watch every businessman. It will demand the best of your time, the best of your zeal, the best of your strength, the best of your energy. The same way, God requires your best in serving him. God desire your best in serving him. If you claim to have a heart for God, then you must spend time for God. If you have a heart for God, you will have time for God. David had time for God. A king, he had time. Solomon had time for God. He went to sacrifice. Do you know how much time it will take to sacrifice a thousand burnt sacrifice? What? David, seven times he praised God. Three times he prayed. A king, you cannot claim to have a heart for Jesus and not have time for God. And not have time for soul winning. Because Jesus loved the lost. Do you know this question? The mother of John and James came one day. He said, ah, Jesus, create a place for my children. Want to see at your right hand. Want to see at your left hand. Ah, Jesus said, they don't pray it. Oh. It's an investment you make. They don't pray it. Hello, sir. You don't pray. You invest your time to this business. Is it? In Matthew 20, verse 22. He said, are you able to drink of the cup? They say, yes. Ah, you need to invest. You don't add need to do prayer. Glory to God. You don't add, no. Jesus said, no, not by prayer. Eh? In fact, you add need by investing, engaging for the purpose of profiting. You had the testimony, I had the testimony today. Bishop has shared the testimony before. He said he was talking to them and he told them, if your say did not replicate three times, you have failed. And a 19 year old boy was concerned. He burst out crying. He was concerned. Your say, if it didn't replicate three times, he started crying. Because the cell was at our start. What will he do? And he started to fast. A 19 year old boy. He started to fast and to pray, Lord, this home say, must replicate. And suddenly, God took over. God intervened. And he became the best in that zone. That is how your say will replicate this year. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your believing amen. amen. Luke chapter 22 verse 29. It is your investment your engagement that guarantee your enthronement. It is your engagement in this kingdom investment, so many, that guarantee your breakthrough. Somebody say, how does he link? God links it. How does he work? God works it out. You can as well ask, how did he turn water to wine? He didn't stand up from where he was. There was no relationship. There was no correlation. Glory to Jesus. How will it work? God works it. Do your part. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I said praise the name of Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 10 verse 7. And in the same house remain eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Do this. Labor is worthy of his hire. If you serve me, you spend your days in prosperity. The laborer is worthy of his hire. If you serve me, you spend your years in pleasure. The laborer is worthy of his hire. The husband man that labor is first, is first partaker. Can God lie? God has no capacity to tell lie. Somebody shout hallelujah. How is serving God a big time business? How is it a big time business? Why? Because the reward from kingdom stewardship, kingdom service is unmatchable. The reward of this kingdom service is unmatchable. It is uncomparable. You can't compare it. Ezra 23, 25 to 26. He shall serve the Lord, your God. He shall bless thy bread. He shall bless thy water. 
he will take sickness away from you. Now, somebody took anointing oil and he vomited calories. They don't detect that in hospital. Hello? They don't detect it. Somebody slept and he saw somebody with a, with a, with a cow head, very angry to come and knock him. I mean, to come and knock her. And he used mantle and that mantle fling the face of that person. They don't see that. You can't carry a witch to court. Hello? But there is a court, heavenly court, that will judge the wicked. Glory to Jesus. The reward is unmatchable. Glory to Jesus. The rewards are there. One of us was at home and he was hearing sound. And the snake was planted. And God revealed the deadly animal. And the snake couldn't do anything. The snake was paralyzed. And God killed it there. Somebody shout hallelujah. They don't, uh, you can't arrest Satan. It's not visible to naked eye. But there is a God in heaven. That is what? <laughs> he sees to everything. He sees to everything. Glory to Jesus. He said, there shall nothing cast thy young nor be barren in thy land. And the number of thy days are we increase. Do they buy number of days from man from anywhere? There is no native doctor that can give you long life. I heard the story of a man. Everything he did, he now said they should empower him so that bullet will not enter him. The man collected his money, was empowered. And then he went somewhere, I gave the bullet to him, say, try this. And the man bulleting, he died. Glory to God. Now, no matter your power, the, the power of this world, they are superior to one another, two of us. It's only God's power you can't arrest. The day your own power becomes water, that's the day you are finished. <laughs> glory to God. I said, glory to God. You will not be a victim. I said, you will not be a victim. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have, it is, I mean, the reward of still worship in the kingdom is unmatchable, but it will demand your responsibility. It's except a corn of will fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. John chapter 12, verse 24. And verse 26, Jesus said, if any man serve me, John 12, 26, if any man serve me, let him follow me. The reward, where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, he will my father honor. There is great reward, sir. He shall my father honor. He will honor your family. He will honor your health. He will honor your long life. He will honor your business. No devourer will come near your business. I remember uh, when the wonder double began. One of our members was witnessing around. Then she came to me. He said the governor said they will clear the road. In Benin City, they have marked the road to be cleared. You know, sometimes it is God that helped the pastor. I look at this woman, very devoted. I can say she's a servant of God. She gives her time for children department in the church. The house is far. She will come to that branch, serve the law, go back home after the, the second service. We're having two services that time. Glory to God. And when we are going out on Wonder Double, all our streets should be going from. And then she said, they have marked our shop for clearing. There are some things you hear, you don't know what to do, you just speak in tongue. I send it down. All I did was to speak in tongue. I said, Lord, intervene. Then I put the word, I said, Go, you shall be exempted. And Monday came, there was a problem in the governor's office. They met. And they were not able to resolve. And then, finally, they went to another road. They left that road because of a servant of God. Because of you, people will be safe around your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the returns of soul winning? Number one return is quick return. Say with me, quick return. Speed intervention. Quick return. You remember the story of Peter and the water. As soon as he let out for Jesus, and Jesus finished preaching, he said, Now, Peter, I'm here to bless you. 
You have given me your time. You are giving me your time. I mean, your 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 your, your time of uh, of work. You are giving me your sheep. Now it's time for me to bless you. They will have been there getting nothing. He had been struggling, and he confessed. He said, Lord, I've struggled throughout the nine, but we caught nothing. He said, forget that. Now you will catch something. Glory to God. Now you begin to make waves in the name of Jesus. And he gave a commandment. Luke chapter 5 verse 4. He said, when he had left speaking, Jesus told someone, he said, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. And someone said, Master, I have toiled. Your toiling will end tonight. I have toiled all night and I have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, at thy word, at thy word, I will let down the net. What was the result? Verse 8, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' feet, knees, saying, Depart from me, for my, for my sinful man, O Lord. Why did he confess? Verse 6, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net break, a net breaking experience. That shall be your report. A net breaking experience. The poverty of long year was suddenly turned around. That's a, that's a sudden turn around when you obey God on this soul winning. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Number two, amen. Check Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. I said number one, quick returns. Revelation 22 verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. Did you see that? To give every man according as his soul winning endeavor. If you win ten so and I win two so, God will not give you the, the not give you the reward of two so. No, the reward of two so is for me because I want to report the reward of ten so is for you. You know, I told you there are no ghost worker in the kingdom of God. No, uh -huh. the register is there, clear by angels. God will not give a pastor reward because if he doesn't go for so many, nothing. Are you hearing me? And I said here, there are crowns. There are sisters who have 50 crowns. Brother who have 100 crowns. But I tell you, he will not give a crown to somebody who we are tied to only. It's like you have clothes in your wardrobe. Somebody has 100 pair of shoes, 2,000 pair of clothes. You know every day you'll be changing. That's, you know, now, First Corinthians 50, 41, I saw something here. There is the glory of moon. There is the glory of sun. There is the glory of star. First Corinthians 50, 41. Check. If I'm not mistaken. Aha. Uh -huh. There is one glory of the sun. Did you see that? Another glory of the moon. Another glory of the stars. Ah. For one star different from another star in glory. Ah. He comes to reward according to your labor. We may go out in group, but how many souls do you have? When you go out in group, make sure you speak to soul and win soul. They have, apart from the one you are recording, the heaven is also recording on your behalf. They are recording. There are, there are millions of angelic beings outside there following us. Glory to God. Can you imagine you have thousands of crowns <laughs> and somebody has two crowns? They will know it. They will just know uh, it's two. If I have two suits, you will know me very well. Maybe I have yellow suit and blue suit. You will just tell yourself, did you see pastor? Our pastor, now yellow suit or blue suit. Those are the two. Yellow suit or blue suit. That's what it, But if your pastor has many suits, you won't even know. You'll be asking, did you see him? Because you can't disturb him by the, by the number of clothes. So may you, not, may you not be crownless in heaven in the name of Jesus. The reward, quick reward. Quick reward in your business. Quick reward in your home. Quick reward. Somebody is praying for husband. Pray, you see, your prayer will be answered speedily. A right man. A right what? Because there are many men who look suitable, who look very good. Not all that glitter is what? But you don't know 40 years time. You are only seeing the man or the woman now. But you don't know 40 years time. <laughs> Come to think of it, you don't even know 20 years time. Can I say something? You don't even know 5 years time. In fact, you don't know tomorrow. <laughs> so, he that knows, serving. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Serving, it will dignify your future. 
Serving, it will give you a better job. Serving, it will discomfit your enemies. See, I come quickly. Glory to God. Quick reward. Speedy intervention. Who can stop God? I, I told somebody who was afraid. I said, in my office, I said, listen to me. 1,000 goats. They, went, they want to ambush lion. I said, how would the lion feel? He knocked his head. I said, brother, stand up. You don't have a case. You don't have a case. 1,000 beasts cannot stop lion. If you watch Animal World, one lion, all the bulls will be running on their own. With their horn. Ah, they'll just be running. Uh, and the lion will just be going. <laughs> he will sit down when, he, when he's... When, when he's tired, he will now roar, whoo, and all of them, without touching them, you will be a lion to your enemies. Yeah. I say you will be a lion to your enemies. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. At your appearance, your enemies shall be running head as scatter this year. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Number two, reward, and then we, we pray. A covenant platform for the rise of giant. Returns of soul winning, number two. Number one is quick returns. And number two is a covenant platform for the rise of giants. God does not make mediocre. God specializes in making giants of his children. For Samuel 22, verse 1 to 2, all that were distressed, all that were in debt, all that were discontented, they came to David. Ah, all of them. For Samuel 22, verse 2. All of them that were discontented. Can you see? Everyone distressed <laughs> in debt. Everyone that was discontented, they gathered themselves unto him. He became a captain over them. God will be your captain from tonight. Yeah. About 400 men. But in 2 Samuel 23 verse 8, they emerge champions. They had no address here. In, four, in 2 Samuel 23 verse 8, they had address. Nobody mentioned their name before. Now they had name. They had title. They have position. They became giants. Can you see? These be the names of the mighty men who bomb monkey for banana. They were not mighty men for they were discontented. Now, this be the name of mighty men whom David had. Ah! May you become mighty in this kingdom. The Tacomonite. Did you see that? That sat in the seed. He has gotten a throne. <laughs> Are you seeing that? Chief among the captain. The same was Adino the S9. He lifted up his spear. Look at his exploit. Against eight hundred men whom he slew at one time. Exploit. Look at verse 9. Quickly, then we round up now. Go ahead, verse 9. Verse 9, studio. <laughs> and after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Aholite. One of the three mighty men which David, when they defied the Philistines that were gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away. Now, these people became mighty. They emerged giants. When we were in school, you know, we used to, I used to like Dodo. We gave ourselves names. <laughs> the Tacomanite. <laughs> Not by mouth. But this year, you are imagining a giant. No, you didn't hear me. I said, this year, in your feed, in that family, in that business, God is making you to emerge as a giant. It looks like you'll be sad, you'll be dismissed, but suddenly God will turn this around. You emerge a pillar there. All your hater will smell this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your aim is under construction. Then make them louder than that. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of farmer man. They that be wise. Who is a wise man? So winner. They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the farmer man. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars. For how long? For how long? And for how long? Whoa. Including you and me. Look at Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 21. He said, and their nobles shall be of themselves. Talking about you. And their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. What? I will cause him to draw near. 
you see, their nobles shall be of themselves. So many in this congregation of Rumulu will we imagine nobles in the name of Jesus. And their governor will proceed from there. Watch out. In years to come, there are governors seated here. There are senators seated here. There are speakers planted here. That includes you and your children in the name of Jesus. Right? I'd like you to pray tonight. Lord, baptize me with tireless zeal. Grace for tireless zeal. I don't need to be encouraged to go for soul winning. One of our brothers here has made this his job. Going out sweating on Sunday, he was outside on the field telling me, sir, I couldn't come. He has been baptized. He told me nothing can discourage him. Ah, you need this kind of baptism. Jesus. But when you are baptized, no sickness can dare you. No devil can interfere in your affair. All the interference of hell will be broken down. All the wall of Jericho will come down crashing. Ah, Lord, tonight, baptize me with the zeal of the Lord, with passion for soul winning, to serve God with my energy, with my soul, with my strength. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lepa Kato Predicata. Neteli kanto brodi kasa kato palia re pato bali kata manzeke tu koto prete ri kata bla blake takazu so Lord baptism will see the kind of zee that will destroy every seed of sickness in my body seed of sickness in my bone that will destroy crisis in my family maroko zukoto that will place my children on the path of giant. In the kingdom, the kind of baptism with fire, Lord, that will make me to go out for so many, that will cause me to imagine a champion. Father, we thank you tonight. In the precious name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. I'd like you to stand to your feet. Before we take communion tonight, are you here? You want to receive this baptism. You want the reward of the kingdom. Now Jesus said, give me your heart. And then you are qualified to be used of God for profitable business in the kingdom. I like your head bow and your eyes closed. Maybe you are that person tonight. You are saying, Jesus, my heart is for you. I want to pray for you. Say with me in your heart, Jesus, I thank you, Father, for this encounter tonight. I give you my heart. I surrender my life to you completely, Jesus. Wash me tonight and make me ready for the kingdom of God. Baptize me with the zeal of the Lord. The Bible says, if anyone be in Christ, is a new person. All things are passed away. Sickness is gone. Failure is gone. Misfortune is destroying my life. Behold, from this night, it's a new beginning. It's a fresh beginning for me. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Is there anybody? Lift up your hand. I will pray for you. If you, are that, if you have said that prayer with me in your heart, raise your hand and I will pray for you now. If you have said that prayer in your heart,